Hey, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this fun repeating pattern in Photoshop. If you would like the design files for this tutorial, uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page where I upload all of the uh, design files for um, all of my tutorials here on YouTube. If you'd like to uh, support this channel, go ahead and check that out and I will leave a link to uh, my Patreon page in the description below. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a document. Go ahead and click on New File. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color and then background content set to transparent. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. To start off with, we are going to create a rectangle. I'm going to use the Rectangle Shape tool. To access the shape tool, you can use the keyboard shortcut U. Uh, to navigate between the different shape tools, you're going to hit Shift U. Um, in this case, we are currently on the ellipse tool, so I'm going to continue to hit Shift U until we get to our rectangle tool. You can also right click to uh, select the tool here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the canvas here and then I'm just going to create a, a rectangle. Let's go uh, 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels and then just clicking on OK. Throughout this tutorial, I'm going to be using my Photoshop actions for pattern design. There are uh, three ways that you can get these actions for yourself. I do have a tutorial here on YouTube that is about 30 minutes long that you can watch and create each one of these actions for yourself. If you want to start using these actions right away, you can also purchase them in my Etsy shop. I also um, give them as a bonus when you join me over on Patreon. So let's go ahead and center our object using one of my actions. So we'll just click to center it here and then I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it 45 degrees here. To do that, you can go Command or Control T and then you can uh, type in your rotation value here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my action here. Just gonna go ahead and rotate it 45 degrees clockwise. And then this object is too big for our canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and just hold down shift and then just dragging in the side here. Let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit. We'll move it here. Just uh, using those uh, guidelines here to align it to the corner here. I'm going to hit shift and then just drag out. And then we'll do that the same for each of the sides just so I can get it positioned along the edge of my canvas and then I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, OK here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer, Command or Control J. I'm going to change uh, the color to white just so it's easier to uh, tell the difference between our different rectangles and then I'm going to scale this down, Command or Control T and we are going to go down to 75% here. Selecting our first layer again, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it again, Command or Control J. We'll position it in f on the top here, and then I'm going to scale it down, Command or Control T, and we are going to go to 50% this time. Selecting OK, and then we'll hit our original layer. We'll go ahead and duplicate it one more time, Command or Control J. Let's bring it to the top. I'm going to select that white color again here and then we are going to scale it down, Command or Control T. This time I'm going to do 25% and accepting it there as well. With these top three layers, I'm going to hit Shift Click and I'm just going to duplicate them, Command or Control J. I'm going to go ahead and group them, Command or Control G, and then I'm just going to turn them off for the moment. Working with our original layers here, I'm going to go ahead and select these two layers here at the bottom. I'm going to go to Layer, Combine Shapes, and then in this case I'm going to subtract the front shape. This got rid of our middle uh, rectangle here, and then I'm just going to make it black here so we have it black. And then we're going to do the same thing with these two layers going to go to layer, combine shape, subtract front shape, and then I'll just make it black here as well. So we have the first part of our pattern. Let's go ahead and just combine these two layers. 
I'm going to go ahead and right click to merge our shapes here. And then we can go ahead and turn off this layer. Let's bring up our group. Go ahead and turn that group layer back off. I'm going to go ahead and delete. We're going to just delete the group so we have our shapes here again. Uh, this time we're going to select the bottom two here and then I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to go to layer, combine shapes, subtract the front shape. And then we'll just make this front one black as well. So we have our second part of our repeat. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge these uh, layers together, right click, and then just merge shapes. Uh, so we have this element and this element here. So let's go ahead and turn off this bottom one again. We'll bring this one back on. And then this one we are going to repeat in all of the four corners here. So I have a action for that. I'm going to use uh, four corners here and it will just create a repeat in all of the four corners. Uh, with this center one, we can go ahead and just turn this one off and then we will turn back on our other uh, shape here. And then now we can go ahead and define our pattern. So we're going to go to edit, define pattern. And then I also have an action for that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on define my pattern. And then let's bring up the patterns panel. Selecting here, if you do not see your patterns window, you're going to go to window and select patterns. Here we can see uh, my newly created uh, pattern here. And then let's go ahead and test this pattern. So I'm going to go to file new. For this document, I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels, a resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, and then everything else the same. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. From here, we are going to use an action called pattern test. This action brings up a color fill layer with a clipping mask of our pattern fill layer and then another color fill layer. To find these adjustment layers, you can just click on the adjustment layer icon here to select the color layer or the pattern layer here. So we'll select our pattern fill layer here and we'll select our newly created pattern. And here we have our fun seamless pattern. When you uh, double click on this pattern fill layer, you have the option to scale it. So maybe we try at 75% just to bring it down a little bit here. When this dialog box is open, you can always uh, move your pattern around if you want it to be positioned differently on your canvas. To get back to the original, just click on Snap to Origin, and then we'll go ahead and click on OK. Uh, because we scaled our original swatch, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this background layer here. And then I'm going to go ahead and define this pattern here as well. And then as you can see, it will save another swatch. When you hover over the original, we had it saved at 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. When we hover over the new one, it is now saved at 900 pixels by 900 pixels. So, so when you are um, adjusting your scale here, you could always save your new swatch as well at the uh, scale size that you like. So we'll go ahead and turn on our back layer here and let's go ahead and pick a new color. Double clicking on this color fill layer. Let's try, let's bring up our slider here. We'll go to more of a red color and then uh, just picking a color here and go ahead and click on OK here. To export this as digital scrapbook paper, you're going to go to File, Export, Export As. Here under File Settings, you'll hit the drop down arrow and select JPEG. Under quality, you can increase the quality. I just note that the higher the quality, the larger the file size here. And then uh, scrolling down under color space, I like to click embed color profile. And then you can click to export your digital scrapbook paper here. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun repeating pattern in Photoshop. Again, if you want access to all the design files for my tutorials, then you can join me over on Patreon. I will leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you for the support. It helps me to keep making these tutorials. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.